Hey Nosy Joe here with my 2022 Pan America Special. Today I'm going to talk about these Giant Loop Bushwhacker Hand Guards and why I think they're a must have for winter riding for every Pan America owner. So let's get into it. All right, so specifically why I think these Bushwhacker Hand Guards do so well on the Pan America has to do with the stock hand guards and their design. So and maybe this is the same for a KTM or a BMW big bike. I'm not sure. But um, the Pan America does come with these hand guards. They're not the best. They're going to be worth, uh, you know, one fall, one tip over on the bike. But that's not really the problem. The problem is, is the hand guard mounting is integrated in with the lever perch and the mirror perch. So... If you want to adjust your levers in a proper position for riding, especially if you're going to do any standing, which is what you should do when you're riding off-road, you're going to want to tip those levers down. Um, and I'll demonstrate that. All right. So I'm going to do my best uh, Ryan Hughes in the attack position here. And what I wanted to demonstrate, and one reason I got the Pan America is I wanted to make sure that the bike I was riding every day better complemented the bike I was racing. So, you know, I've worked a lot on trying to do the attack position, you know, being on the balls of your feet, kind of squeezing the bike with my knees, standing and taking the weight off my arms, all that. Well, to do all that, your lever's got to be pointed downward like this. And on a bike like a real true dirt bike, your hand guard system, um, is independent from your levers. So you can put your levers down and then you can rotate your uh, guards down separately. So that's not an issue. So I wanted to keep this type of a position on the Pan America. That's why I rotated everything down. But when I did that, that exposed my hands. Really, I would like to have mine even tip more down than they are for when I'm standing up. But with the mirror... And the lever perch and all this combined with your hand guard perch, and that tips your hand guard down, and then you don't have any wind protection, basically exposes the top of your hands. So I think that's a design flaw. I plan to get rid of these stock hand guards anyway and go with bushwhackers um, when budget permits, but. I was in the situation once it got cold that I was really going to, have to buy some a lot better gloves or heated gloves, which are you know 100 bucks. And on Black Friday, Giant Loop had these Bushwhacker hand guards for only 35 bucks. So I thought that was a better solution, and um, I really like them. Um, the you know they're attached with like a rubber belt strap. You can see a little bit better here on the right side. And I did something a little bit extra because I was just worried about them flopping around, but I didn't even really give them a chance where I just did one hole in a little tie strap there to my mirrors. The mirrors are real solid on the Pan Americas, so, but anyway, in up to, you know, as fast as I've had it, 80 or 85 mile an hour, um, these things don't flop around or rattle or shake. Or anything at all and keep your hands completely protected and whereas you know I was having to like double up on gloves to keep my fingers from going numb now I can just wear uh, one reasonable pair of gloves I'll show you what ones I keep by the way I'm really a fan of this brand here Hepco and Becker but um I just got some Harley Davidson I think they say yeah, Gore-Tex gloves, nothing too special. I keep some leather ones. What I was having to do is like do a doubling up of some thinner gloves with either my Gore-Tex or my leathers. But now even when it's under 30 degrees, I can ride with just the Gore-Tex. And since I'm not doubled up, then that really allows the heated grips to work and I can feel them just fine and I don't need anything more than that. So a lot of people make fun of these things, say they're like Dumbo elephant ears or something like that. 
But I think given the size of the Pan America, put my, this is 55 liter top case, by the way, really nice. I think given the size of the Pan America, they don't look near as goofy as they would on, you know, just like a regular dirt bike here. But the, a lot of guys use them on that. I think they're fine. And they make them in two styles, one with the giant loop emblems like and logo like I have. And then the other one has like a forest nature scene with some trees. Um, anyway, I think both of them look cool. You can get them from Giant Loop's website or on Amazon. I'll put a couple links below. So anyway, those are working out really good for me. I've ridden as low as 22 degrees on the way to work. Now I'm not riding real long, only, you know, 20 minutes or so to work, but it's working out really good for me. Didn't have to buy more expensive gloves or heated gear or anything like that. And I don't think they even look that bad. So I will admit I've got this idea from Dork in the Road. He's my internet writing buddy, just like he is for you, I'm sure, if you watch him. Uh, but that was in his top five winter writing hacks. So I thought I'd give it a try and I'm really happy with it. So thanks to Dork in the Road. Shout out there and uh, everybody have a good one. Hope this helps you ride and stay safe and warm this winter. Later.